Hello, is that you, Mr. Staircase? I can't wait to find out what exciting masonry facts you're going to teach me about tonight. Oh no! He who must be Voldemort, n n not not named. That's right. But you can call me Tom if you like. Hang on. W was it you narrating everything the whole time? Yes, it was. Oh, I thought it was. Uh, I thought you did quite a good job. Oh, thank you. Anyway, there isn't much time. I'm here because you are guilty of being a parody of a parody of the real thing. Your creator made you purely so he could have a reasonably successful video on the internet. How does that make you feel? It's alright. I've already been feeling quite unoriginal anyway, because I was reading some of the comments and they said I sound like that bloke from Blur when he's been squashed all flat and got no eyes like Harry. But I don't think you should squash Britpop singers, should you? No. No, you shouldn't. That being said, I did squash Jarvis Cocker's thumbs once or twice during a game of Euro 96 Sabutio. But, well, the 90s were <laughs> a pretty wild time. Oh, what should I do about it, Tom? I don't like sounding like someone else. Even though I think he sounds a bit more like this, though, doesn't he? It's a completely different kind of voice, but... But... But it is a bit similar to mine. Anyway, what, what was it you were going to tell me? The world is ending. Because you're going to destroy it? No, because this is a shallow cipher world of painted paper. There is no real depth to this place. Why, it's little more than a meme for millennials. And we've run out of story. The views are going down, Ron. And we're going down with them. This whole place is going to come down soon. You feel that? Uh, it might just be fracking. Oh yeah, what about the moon falling? Yeah, that is a bit of a problem, isn't it? Listen, after our duel, I realized there was something special about you, Ron. You are so much more than just the handsome one. Now, I have enough magic left to open a portal to a parallel dimension. But only one person may pass through. I want you to take my place, Ron. But, but why me? Honestly, because I'm the bad guy. And, and Harry's still falling down the stairs. Oh boy! And, well, Hermione can't dance. Can't she? She, she really can't. I mean, like, seriously. Hmm. Is there nothing we can do to save this world? What about Ron? No. Not even Ron magic can stop this. By the way, this is a parallel dimension you're going to. There will be differences, but also similarities. Conveniento portalis. <laughs> C can I just ask you one question before I step through this portal to a completely unknown fate in a parallel dimension? Yeah, all right. Go ahead. Well, I was thinking about my subsistence as a, as a bastardised version of a pre-existing character. Mm -hmm. Specifically, my inherently hyper-textural nature yep. is a product of 21st century post-postmodernism. Yeah. Or, or maybe digimodernism is a product of intellect culture. Characters in a more generalised sense. Okay. Then like... So, okay. Right, if I use the human body as an analogous standard for the corpus of Western literature written after the invention of the modern novel in the 18th century, yep. I mean, since the Latin word corpus ties the two together rather nicely, mm -hmm. yeah? So, in the human body, the degradation of the originals, because people are more likely to get their idea of... Entities are not to be multiplied without necessity and all that. But then, I was thinking...
Washing my thumbs in a game of so beauty, oh I never thought to be playing against the dark lord